remove some pages from it to, to allow it to expand and I glued two pages together. So just giving this um, paper a coat of white gesso. I did like the orientation of this book. It's like a landscape, almost A4 size. And I had it worked in that size before, so I thought, why not give it a go? Don't find many recycled books or um, books in this sort of format. They're more A4 portrait two, two, two side by side, if that makes sense. So just layering down some white mark gesso. I do apologize about the shadow. Oh no, there's the shadow gone. Um, so just giving that a good dry. The reason I put down the gesso is I wanted to do some um, stenciling, reverse stenciling, and I also wanted to start with the white page as opposed to the cream. Sometimes I start straight on the cream, sometimes I go on the white with the white gesso. Sorry, moving my book around. So I grabbed a whole bunch of um, that pink tissue paper is with paint on it with one of my stencils. I've grabbed some map, I've grabbed some um, napkin, I've grabbed some jelly prints, just basically grabbed a bunch of things from my um, collage box. So this one has been inspired by Lisa Oxley. I've been watching her YouTube channel and if I remember I'll link it below. If I forget and you're interested um, and can't find her, I will remind me in the comments and I'll link it below. She does this similar sort of, she's doing the 100 day challenge, so 100 days of art journey, which I'd love to try, but at my life at the moment, meh, ain't going to happen. Um, and I like her style. So she starts off with sort of strips of paper, and then she adds paint, does this reverse stenciling, adds her focal point a bit more, a bit more. So I sort of virtually copied what she does in my own style. So when I have extra paint or when I just don't feel like doing an art journal page, I just feel like playing. I, um, I often grab some tissue paper on my stencils and some paint and just stencil up some tissue. And then I've got it ready for when I want to use it. There's your number one. I do apologise the book's on a bit of an angle, I didn't realise. I'm using my new webcam and I forget to look at my laptop when I am focusing. And I was having fun doing this art journal page. And so a lot of this first layer does get lost. But it took me a quite a while to understand why we put the layers on as we do. Um, because you just don't know what's going to ex be exposed at the end. Or I didn't know what, where my focal point was going. I had an idea of what focal point I was going to use. But apart from that, I didn't sort of know where I was going. So I glued all those papers down with Mod Podge. Not my preferred medium, but I am trying to use up bits and pieces this year. And that jar is nearly gone. Yay! Sorry, moving around the camera, trying to get a better angle. And I think my book was crooked, not the camera. So playing with my Dina Wakely paints, I've invested in some of the Dina Wakely paints. I have quite a few colours, so I decided to use those. And that's how I picked the colours in the collage stuff. Um, that was sort of the colours that I picked in the Dina Wakely paints as well. So this is one of my stencils that I did the reverse stenciling with. So you pop down some paint. This only works on a gesso surface or a matte gel medium surface over the paper. It doesn't work on regular paper because the paint soaks in too much before you can remove it with a baby wipe. So I don't know how Lisa does it differently, but she gets a lot more pristine, clean wipeaways than I did. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it, it worked. Maybe she's doing it on top of gesso or on top of paint. I did it on top of Mod Podge. Maybe that didn't work so well. I don't know why. So just drying that off. And it's important to dry between layers when you aren't journaling. Then your colours don't mix and you can actually layer up. So just grabbing some of this colour and decided to stencil. I've got sort of the reverse stenciling. Then I want to do some positive stenciling as well. So just using a silicon brush. Just added some of the rainbows as well. Why rainbows? I have no idea. I was just grabbing some of my stencils. Some of my stencils to use. So just drying those off. Because they're a thin layer of paint, the Dina Wakely paint dries really quickly. And it's great for stenciling as well because it's a heavy body paint. It's a bit thicker than normal paint so it doesn't seep under your stencil. So this is a focal image I chose out of my magazine box of collage bits. I tend to grab magazines, or I haven't grabbed any for ages because I've been out to the op shops, 
and sort of tear them apart and anything that sparks my interest goes in my collage box. Then I don't have to keep the whole magazine and I don't have to flip through magazine after magazine. So I believe this was uh, to do with a star sign or something. I don't know. So just deciding where that goes. It's interesting working in this orientation of a book. Your sort of focal images go in a different direction. So just gluing that down with um, matte gel medium. Not matte gel medium, sorry, Mod Podge. Or you could use matte gel medium. You can use any. I do get a few wrinkles in it. Um, when you're gluing down a magazine page, you often get wrinkles because it's a thinner piece of paper. So you put a coat on your book where you want the image to go. Pop your image down and then um, load your paint up with... Sorry, load your paintbrush up with glue again. I'd go over the top. I do not know why I'm yawning tonight. I'm not that tired. Probably because voiceovering is boring. <laughs> it's not my it's not my favourite job. So just adding some more of the Dina Wakeley paint. I believe that one's cheddar. I can go and find the colours that I used if you are so interested, but I do believe that one is cheddar. Maybe it's magenta or fuchsia, the other one, and I had a lighter pink. I don't know the colours off by hand so much. Um, so just had to fix up a bit of the um, magazine image that wasn't glued down properly. So I actually stuck her a bit above the page. So here I'm just painting over her shirt and extending her down to the page. Yes, you can see where the paper finishes and where the paint starts, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me that much. So just drying that off. So lots of drying so I don't accidentally mix paint or put my hand in paint usually really enjoyed this style of um, doing an art journal page so I may follow the same prompts or the same steps again sort of strips of paper stenciling focal point and all the other stuff she adds Lisa does it in Lisa Oxley I've been watching her videos and amazing she does amazing things I've been really inspired by her lately so just grabbing a, what am I doing? I'm starting up a paint pen. It's a Chalkola paint pen. I got them really cheap about three years ago. When Amazon first came to Australia, they had a like a dollar deal. You signed up. I think I've said it so many times in my videos. You signed up for like five bucks a month for postage for their um, Amazon Prime. And you got to get these for a dollar, which I did. And then I cancelled. <laughs> Probably a lot of people did that. So just making some, um, going over the... A collage image colour and it'll be the background bits I didn't actually cut out to make her stand out a bit more. Didn't particularly like how her arms turned out but her arms are sort of in the front of her body so it's really hard to actually draw her arms in. They look like they're stuck on. So I decided to do a bit of stenciling on top of her shirt just to make it so it wasn't plain. Would have been easier if my stencil was not blue but I don't tend to wash my stencils a lot unless I'm using texture paste or like matte gel medium through them. I tend to only, um, if paint gets on them, paint stays on them. Or ink or alcohol ink I was using the other day or artist inks. And very rarely does it contaminate with the new colour that I put across. So I love her outfit once I put the pattern on it. That just turned out awesome. And it's nice to use the pattern in the background and in the foreground image. So I just grabbed a Stabilo Oil Pencil. So this is a pencil that writes over everything and it can be water activated. So I do water activate it, but I just be very careful. Yes, I've got a thicker paintbrush than I should have. So just being very careful to water activate it. It sort of gives her a bit of a shadow and joins it to the page. So she doesn't particularly look stuck on. And then I'm just doing a bit darker between her neck. So she sort of pops from the page. So I really like how she's turning out. So just adding a bit of detail onto her dress as well. As you can see down the bottom, I'm working on a bit of drop paper. So any extra paint I've got, I'm sort of popping on there. That's where I start my pens. And that will become um, collage material for another art journal page. So I don't like to always paint or anything. So if I do squeeze too much out of my bottles, I do either put it onto another journal page or I put it onto scrap paper and eventually goes into a journal. So just adding some more paint, wanting to do, um, did I do more stencil reductive? I believe this paint colour is Night, it's my favourite, yeah I do, or I attempt to do. Um, Night is one of my favourite colours in the Dina Wakely range, in her gloss sprays and in her um, little tubes of paint, little bottles of paint. It's a really, really nice colour to work with. 
So I decided that she needed a bit of darkness just to make her sort of pop as well. And then doing some stenciling through. I really like the idea of doing the reverse stenciling and stenciling on the page. It seems to tie it all together. So I haven't done a lot of that before, the two sort of um, two, the two ways of stenciling. But I'm really I really fell in love with this page. I really like how it turned out. It um, didn't really know what I was doing when I first started. I just started with shreds of paper and then paint and it just evolved from there. Some days I have good days with my art journal page, some days I get halfway through it and it's like, oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. So I grabbed a white out pen. I don't actually have any white paint pens at the moment, but I do like to use white out pens or liquid paint up there still not dry. Just give me a bit more dry. I like using the liquid white out pens from Officeworks or Kmart. I believe this one's from Officeworks. It's got a nice fine metal tip on it, so it comes out quite small, which is great. And it comes out opaque white. I find a lot of Posca paint pens are not white. They're sort of an off-white and they don't stand out as much as I'd like them to. So just doing a, fit, a few dots. Lisa does that as well. She actually uses the whiteout pen as well. And her dots really stand out and it just makes, makes the page. So just umming and ahhing what to do. So now here I attempt to write a um, sentiment. But, of course, my pens are not liking writing over the Dinner Weekly paint. So I try another pick. This is the Chocola white pen. As you can see, it's not going on stark white. It's actually going on like an opaque, uh, not an opaque white, like a semi-translucent white, which I don't particularly like. I like That's why I like the white out pens, because they're really, really white. So just sketching out where my... Um, words will go and then I do painfully go over it with the whiteout pen it's a bit of a struggle but we get there anyway you can't read the title I think it says I should have my book in front of me I wear a mask I wear a mask to hide the inner me I don't know I just come up with that because she had a mask on her face um, so it gets a bit painful here when I'm trying to do the lettering and keep dopping off onto the um, scrap paper to get the pen to work. I think this pen's nearly on its way out. Time to go shopping. I haven't been out shopping for ages. Been doing a bit of online shopping though. Shh, that's terrible. Um, so I will leave it there and I will pop some still pictures at the end to share with you. And I will um, catch up with you next art journal page or haul or whatever I get up to. Bye for now.